Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, May 10th, 2019. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, give God praise, because He is worthy of our praise, He's worthy of our worship, He's worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 6, and it's verse number 13. Jesus says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. Friends, Jesus is teaching us how to pray right here in this section. He's given us a pattern, a framework, or if you will, for us to base our prayers upon. I don't think this Lord's Prayer found in Matthew chapter 6 is a prayer that, that was intended for us to, to say exactly that way each and every day. But I think it was a framework. He started in verse number 9 as a quick review. Start in verse number 9, where he says, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That's praising God for who he is. That's making sure we put him first place in our life. That's focusing on the 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 person of God, putting him and adoring him and putting him first. And it says, Thy kingdom come, in verse 10, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's where we're praying for God's will to be done. God's will to be done in our lives, in the lives of the people in our town, in the in, in our nation, in our world today. God's will needs to be done, and God's will will be done, and we need to be praying for that. Then he says, we start in verse 11 with the petitions, the things that we're asking God for. He says in verse 11, give us this day our daily bread. We're asking for our daily needs, our daily provisions, not only for food, but what we're going to need both physically and spiritually to get through each and every day. Verse 12, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. That's where we're asking God for forgiveness of our sins. And we're also conveying that we will forgive others that have trespassed or have sinned against us. And that brings us to verse number 13. And he says, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Friends, let's not take this verse out of context. God is not going to leave us and lead us into temptation. He's not going to tempt us. James chapter 1 says that God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But our temptations come from the battle, the lust that battles inside of us. So we need to pray and ask God to keep us from falling into temptation, to keep us from falling over the stumbling blocks that the devil is going to put in our way as we're trying to live for God. We need to ask God to protect us from evil. We need to ask God to keep us from evil. We need to ask God to, to make sure that we don't stumble and fall and fall into the world of sin that we've been saved out of. And then this last part of verse number 13 is a part of the verse that is very seldom, if at all, found in any of these modern translations of the Bible. And I think it's fitting to end the prayer this way, and I think it it speaks volumes about God. He says, For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. God's kingdom is the kingdom. It's the only kingdom. It's it's the kingdom that's going to last forever and ever. And God has all the power. He deserves all the glory. And he deserves it forever and ever and ever. And we need to praise him for his kingdom, for his power. And we need to praise him for his glory. And we need to take this prayer and model it to, so we can effectively pray and communicate with God. And we need to pray each day that God keeps us from falling into sin. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. Then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.